Hi all, my name is Mark and today we are going to have a look at this particular tripod head. Uh, this head has replaced both my ball head and my gimbal head and I think it's a fabulous piece of kit. Okay, well as I previously said, this is a very well engineered um, unit. Uh, it really consists of uh, two ball and sockets together. Um, one is used for the levelling base here, and the other one is used for moving the head around at the top here, like that. Um, it can be used as a, a simple ball and socket head. Uh, we do that by locking off the top head here, and then loosening up the bottom ball and as you can see you can rotate it all the way around really easily. Um, it works as good as any straightforward ball and socket head I have ever used. Uh, yeah, so no problems there. Um, then if you want to go and sort of use it with the levelling base, we line up this rather neat, hopefully you can see that, uh, neat little spirit level here. We line that up so the bubble is in the middle like that and we lock it off then if we loosen this red knob here we can move the top head around wherever we want to go and always wherever we point it the horizon will be level this is extremely useful for not just architectural photography but also for panning shots such as birds in flight um, hopefully on the screen now you'll be seeing a few pictures that I've used for that very purpose. Um, and it works extremely well. Not quite as well as a gimbal, um, but uh, I reckon you get sort of 90% of it. And once you get its sweet spot, you know where you want it to go, you can almost have a fluid action, it's lovely. Um, so yeah, for me, it works very, very well. Uh, it has replaced my gimbal. Um, I just found that I wasn't using the gimbal less and less and less and it is a whole lot easier to travel with, um, which is another reason why I went out and purchased this unit. Um, I also got kind of fed up just having to replace heads, so I'd come back into the studio, put the ball and socket head on, take the gimbal off, and then swap it all around again next time I wanted to go out and do some wildlife photography. Um, it uses, I say, the Arca Swiss top here, so you can have uh, one plate, Arca Swiss plate here, attached to a foot of a long lens, or you can have another plate coming across here, which would be attached to a camera body. Here you can see a Nikon D500 with a 70 to 200 mm 2.8 lens mounted on the tripod head. Um, as you can see, it is pretty well balanced for a small lens, but tracking wise, you can set the whole thing up rather well so it's nice and fluid. Very, very easy to use and a slightly release on that tension button gives you more fluidity as well. Um, as we have levelled off the base, wherever we point the camera now, the horizon will be level, which is great. Um, all my lenses have the Arca Swiss plates on, or the long lenses, and um, all my cameras have an Arca Swiss plate on the bottom. If you are relatively new to photography and have not yet decided how you are going to mount your camera to your tripod. Um, it would probably be a good idea for you to check out Arca Swiss. The plates, as you can see here, and indeed underneath the camera here, are very, very cheap to buy. Um, as I say, I leave them on my, my equipment permanently. Um, I never have to worry about not being able to mount my uh, equipment on my tripod head. Um, uh, and so it, it's great because you do also have a safety system. So if I lock it down here, were I to become a bit loose, as you can see, the, ca the camera cannot fall off the tripod head. That's very, very handy. But just generally speaking, they are really good. They're great as well because you can get longer ones than the, than the foot uh, the, of, of the lens, if you so wish. And then you can balance out the lens and the camera body to make it even more effective for panning. Um, they're extremely good, uh, blooming expensive as far as I'm concerned. 
I think there are upwards of £450 to purchase this one in the, the UK. I'm guessing though it replaces the uh, gimbal head and also the standard bull head, so maybe it's not ridiculously priced after all. But um, you get what you pay for. It is very well engineered. I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, I'm not sure about the kind of rash colour scheme. Uh, however, I've sort of got used to that now, so uh, it's not a major problem. But uh, yeah, great bit of kit. Check out Arcaspis if you haven't already done so. Brilliant, brilliant tripod sort of system or mounting system. Um, definitely do that, especially if you're new to photography. And uh, please check out my other videos. And many thanks for watching.